Well, good morning, everybody. <laughs> I thought I'd give y'all a little something to look at this morning. Uh, one of uh, Dash's pasture sort of mates. He and Maisie aren't real sure what to think about all that, but which leads to me, me today to my thought, which is taking off those rose-colored glasses. <laughs> which I don't think she's going to anytime soon. Anyway, um, who hasn't who hasn't really wanted to look at things from a perspective of just oh well that's just how that person is or you know now that, that that's pretty darn good I can accept that situation when you know better that it's not good or that you shouldn't be siding or. Uh, enabling or whatever the scenario may be or we minimize things that we know that simply um, are not for the good or something that we aren't standing for in a cause or belief or whatever but we put on our rose colored glasses in order that we don't really have to maybe think about the truth or see the truth for what it is or maybe we jade the truth or mute it the, mute the truth and we can't do that the truth is is the truth and we you know the more that we pretend that things aren't the way they are the more we are finding ourselves stuck in situations because we give ourselves and others a pass for maybe inappropriate behaviors or you know we, we side with things that we just know in our heart mind body and soul that are that are good for us and are good for whatever our cause or our purpose might be you know having rose colored glasses to me also means um maybe you think that by putting on those pretty glasses this rose -col those rose colored glasses is that people can't see you maybe uh you've got some sort of a a force shield around you. People can't really see what you're thinking or, or how you're looking at them. And more times than not, that's not true either. People can see right past that. And so why don't we learn to be transparent? Take off those fictitious, false, misleading uh, rose-colored glasses and face our truths, face the reality. If it's something we don't like, well, let's get on the bandwagon and fix it. If it's something we can't fix, let's let's do our best to alleviate it or uh, do something to make it workable um, you know we, we, that, that's really something to me that that is in my heart is that uh, you know we can't we can't just pretend like things aren't what they are we can't make people people who they aren't um, and where rose-colored glasses to get us through that moment or maybe so somebody doesn't really see how we are really seeing them through by looking at our eyes um, you know everything about life is more than skin deep everything is from in, it, it is internal what we see external is usually what is internal uh, of course there are some really good disguises and people could hide it with makeup and lipstick and uh, good jobs and nice cars, but it's really what's on the inside that uh, That what matters and but we got to be able to take those rose-colored glasses off and See things for how they are and look in the mirror and see how we are and do we do we match up to what we're uh, Projecting to others and if we're not we need to take a look at that and go Why am I doing that if that's really not who I am then why am I acting like that? If that's who I want to be, then let me get on it and do the things I need to do to make that not just facade, make it a reality. Nobody can do it but you and you through your faith and you through prayer. And it's not anybody else's job to do that. So, next time you think about you know minimizing something about yourself or someone else because you're trying to make a decision or whatever but you know you kind of put on your rose-colored glasses and you kind of mute the situation just so it'll it'll fit in your cookie cutter mind think twice about that you know we've, we've got to live with consequences of, of good and bad choices 
and we've got to be honest with ourselves about what are we doing why, you know why are we giving this person to get out of a jail card free uh, for some behaviors that aren't appropriate or why are we doing that to ourselves why are we pretending like there's not a problem when we need we know we need to address something within ourselves and putting out a persona and you know putting on rose colored glasses so people can't see really who we are or how we are but you know God above can see all of it and he regardless if we wearing glasses or not and so just be true be blue you transparent be true blue um, you know th know there's a time and place for everything and um, but at all times we need to be honest with ourselves and others and not minimize the truth um, tell it like it is um, you know there, there shouldn't be a need to have to wear uh, rose-colored glasses because if you're telling the truth and you're you are who you are or you're working on becoming your best uh, the, the heck with whatever somebody else may think or not you know you, you've got your own conscience and your own purpose and your own drive and we need to be building each other up not tearing each other down in that process and but but just call it like it is with yourself uh, work on becoming your best not hiding who you are maybe that isn't the best or you know putting out there somebody that you're not um, Again, it's about transparency and being real with ourselves and call our, calling out our own selves on the carpet of things that we may be um, uh, minimizing that aren't truths or are facades. So take off those rose-colored glasses. Start looking at life uh, with all the opportunity and possibilities that there are. Uh, keep the faith. Take it to prayer where you're not sure. Um, don't you know don't worry about what somebody else's situation is look at look at yours and um, you know we're here to fix ourselves and hopefully make a difference for others and people are gonna make their own choices but we have to be accountable for ours so be proud of who you are don't think you need rose-colored glasses to see something through or that or in a sense to hide who you are from somebody seeing the real you if there's something you don't like get on the board and change it because only you can and it's a mindset and you got to do that good internal talk and take it to prayer and I believe you'll be blessed with that and you just might make a difference for some other body somebody else along the way as well so live love be make it a great day um, be transparent be you be proud talk at you later